Hello everybody, today we'll talk about overlapping in digital signal processing. So overlap is the amount of time data used within a time signal by two neighboring fast Fourier transforms or FFT. Overlap is expressed in percentage. 0% overlap means there is no overlap and 100% overlap means it's full overlap. So what is the need for overlapping? Overlapping is required to overcome the limitations of windowing. Windowing is in turn required to compute FFT of a non-periodically captured signal. So let's look windowing briefly. What is windowing? So when you capture a signal, there's a good chance that, I mean, 99% of the cases, you're gonna capture it non-periodically. When you capture a signal periodically, it means that when you start recording, the signal exactly starts at zero amplitude, and when you stop recording, the sign signal exactly ends at zero amplitude. This is highly unlikely unless you take great care to do it, which would be a waste of time. So for that reason, we capture the signal as is. We don't care about it, so it's going to be captured non-periodically, which means, as you can see here, we just capture the signal when it's not starting at zero and stop the signal when it's not stopping at zero. But we can overcome this limitation by using something called as a windowing. So when you multiply a signal by a windowing, I mean, there are many types of windowing, but just a common Hamming window, you're forcing the signal to be periodic in the time domain. So you're forcing the signal to start at zero and stop at zero despite you having captured the signal non-periodically. So this is the uh, windowing process. If you wanna learn more about windowing and windowing in, uh, types in detail, you can check the link in the description below. So one of the advantages of windowing is that it ensures that there is no discontinuity between signals and then you can perform the FFT peacefully without any you know, spectral leakage. But it also loses, it also, it also creates information loss because you know, it's forcing the signal to be periodic and in that aspect it's like removing some data or not using some data for processing. So this is the reason why we need overlapping so as to overcome this limitation of windowing. So what is the overlapping process? So when we apply windowing, we have forced a signal to be periodic within the observation time, but also removed certain part of the signal, which is why we have some information loss. So in order to reduce this information loss, we use overlapping, and the offset or shift of the consecutive windows determine the percentage overlapping. So if you have a 0% overlap, it means that you don't have any consecutive windows, but then if the next window is adjusted such that it's maximized at the minimum of the previous window, this results in a 50% overlap. We'll see this with pictures. So when you have overlapping, it ensures that all parts of signal are processed and you're not having any information loss. So this is an example of a 0% overlap. As you can see here, we've considered a red wave, which is a signal, and the black wave is the window. So we're forcing the signal to be periodic in the time domain, but there is only uh, you know, one uh, window within one measurement block. So there is no overlapping or like crossover of windows. So this is zero percent overlap. In contrast, fifty percent overlap looks something like this. So you have one window, which is a standard black window, but the other window, the second window, is called the fifty percent offset window because its maxima or the maximum point is you know coinciding with the minimum point of the black window. So it's like you can get information, you can capture the information here, but then if you don't have this blue window, you're kind of losing information here. I mean, it's gonna create some information loss, but then now that you have this blue window here, you don't have to worry because you're not gonna lose information in this region. You may lose information here, but then, then you need to go for higher overlaps. So this is how, I mean, generally it looks like. Uh, so the point here is that neither you have discontinuity thanks to windowing, but you also your information is preserved thanks to overlapping. So this is like a real life signal and this is just a demonstration of like the overlapping effects. So you have the signal here. I mean, it's non-periodic, it's captured non-periodically. So you wanna make it periodic, uh, you know, so as to capture the FFTs here. If you do not, uh, you know, use the windowing and simply perform FFTs, you're gonna get spectral leakage. So you do the 0% overlapping, but then if you do this, you're gonna have some information loss here because this overlap, uh, this windowing is forcing the signal to be periodic. But then when you do the 50% overlap, now it's rest assured that you, you, do not, you no longer lose some information here. I mean, the black window forces the signal to be periodic, but the green window also forces the signal to be periodic. And then you're, it's like best of both worlds, you capture information here as well as here and here and so on. So, 
what, what can we learn from this? So the time data and the overlap portion belongs to more than one FFT calculation. So the overlapping observation times also result in less of the original time data being utilized for a fixed number of observations. So it's like you're sharing the time data for multiple calculations. And the signal in the overlap region is used twice for FFT calculation. So you might wonder, why not increase the overlap as much as you can, so greater than 90%. So at very high overlaps, each analysis intervals are shifted very close to each other. So this results in very high time resolution. Now this is good, but there is a drawback, which is there is more duplication because you're using the same time data for multiple FFT calculations. Uh, so this is a trade-off. You, you, you also want to preserve the information, but at the same time, you don't want this duplication effect. So at 50% uh, overlap, you know, is best considering this trade-off. So to conclude, overlap is the amount of time data used within a signal by two neighboring FFTs. Overlap is expression percentage, and it is used to overcome the limitations of windowing. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.